several days later, a literally abundance suddenly came to me out of nowhere. Like random people asked for my help, and then he gave me money. And then when I bought something, I got an extra gift from the shop owner. Then a stranger randomly gave me a compliment. Hi guys, I'm Tarisha, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you how you can get anything you want in life. Literally, anything, I promise you. This method that I'm about to tell you is a bit different because I won't ask you to work hard or do anything silly. But I guarantee if you really follow what I explain here, you will get anything you want in life. Okay, so firstly, think about what you want and set your mind to it. Our mind is just being created for one reason and one reason only. That is to create what we want and what we want to experience in this life. Every creation in this world is initiated by our thoughts. This phone that you use, the bed that you sleep in, the chair that you sit in, everything comes from the human mind. When you notice that you want something, start focusing it on your mind. Return your goals, make a vision board, print it out, put it on your wall. That's how you let your subconscious mind know so it can take you towards what you want as well as let the universe know that you want something. Imagine that we have genie in our life who is always there to fulfill our wishes. This genie can only fulfill our wishes if we believe and ask for them. Start to work with the universe, start to work with your genie. If you remember in Aladdin, genie always says, your wish is my command. In other words, what we mostly think, what we mostly say, and what we focus on are manifested in our life. Because genie only knows the word yes. There's no word no in his dictionary. Like nowadays, there are so many terrible things happening in the world. Criminals, war, or let's take a simpler example. So, there was this one couple that had always been perceived as couple goals. The other day, this man cheated on her. They are celebrities actually, so they are pretty famous and many people heard this news. I know the story of this one girl who always paid attention to this kind of news. As a result, it made her worry and had these negative thoughts about her relationship, her own boyfriend. She was so afraid that the same thing would happen to her. She became insecure and suspected her boyfriend. You know what? Believe me. Six months later, the exact same thing did happen to her. Well, when I heard this kind of story, it doesn't surprise me anymore because it is your dominant thoughts that will create your reality. The terrible things that are happening in the world are the result of our own thoughts. Tons of people worry, afraid. They have this desperate energy, sharing this negative news. More people think and feel the same way. Then these problems just get bigger and bigger. Because no matter if it is good or bad, positive or negative, it's going to manifest in your life. Since Genie only knows the word yes, he assumes that it is what you want because it is his duty to fulfill your wish. Start to fill your mind with the things you want instead of worrying about the things that you don't want. Okay, next. Do anything that will help you to feel the feelings after achieving the things that you want. So another powerful tool besides your thought is your feelings. Thought without feelings is like a vehicle without fuel. If what you want is money, then you have to feel wealthy. You only attract what you are, so you have to become an abundant person. Becoming an abundant person is not about how much money you have in your bank account. Although it's true in some ways. No, just kidding. But it's really about overcoming the person who is not abundant. Even if you already have a lot of money, you can still feel desperate and unfulfilled because you haven't really solved the root of the issue, your own self. Just think about how will an abundant person feel about his life. 
it is the feeling of gratitude and falling in love with life. Actually, the key is to do the things that put you in a good state and high energy. You know, the reason that makes me work out consistently is because of the state or energy that I get after working out. It makes me feel so good, so confident, and it puts me in a state of achieving great things in life. I only do the things that I know that are generally good for me and my future self. Meditation, yoga, eating healthy foods, reading books, journaling, or any activity that is aligned with the person I want to become. I don't scroll Instagram, TikTok, or consume silly things like negative news or drama because I am aware that it doesn't make me feel good. I mute every account on social media that makes me have negative thoughts and feelings. The same with friends or people who I surround myself with. I only hang out with people who are aligned with my future self. Sometimes this work can be a bit tricky. Do what makes you feel good, but be smart enough that you don't get tricked by the instant pleasures that you can easily find all around you. Because many bad things out there can also make you feel good for a moment, but most of them are just traps and illusions. Take inspired action. Let's say I want to manifest 100k subscribers. It won't happen if I just lay in my bed all day. I need to start a YouTube channel and create videos. I have to act as if I'm a big YouTuber who already achieved 100k subscribers. But at the same time, I don't have to look for the freaking analytics or numbers and be anxious about that, questioning why it hasn't manifested yet. I cannot feel desperate. I cannot feel desperate. I just have to take the freaking inspired action and wait for my manifestation come into my life. So I have this habit that I do before I go to bed and after I wake up. I visualize achieving the things that I want. It helps me with my subconscious mind as well as the feelings. Just type on YouTube like visualization, guided meditation, or you can find the music that helps you bring that emotion. Then just close your eyes and visualize that. The other thing is affirmations and scripting. Say or write down as if you have achieved your dreams. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll follow me if you don't. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I posted this story of my post-it where I write down, Dear Universe, please help me release this energy of black and show me how abundant I really am. It was a time when I was at my lowest, so I asked my genie for help. <laughs> Several days later, literally, abundance suddenly came to me out of nowhere, like random people asked for my help and then he gave me money. And when I bought something, I got an extra gift from the shop owner. My brother bought me my, my favorite food. Then a stranger randomly gave me a compliment. From there, I really learned to not be afraid to ask for something. When you ask for something, you will always receive it. Sometimes it's not the exact thing that you ask. It can be manifested in many different forms. And it leads to another very important point that I want to explain here. Let go and surrender. Probably this is the hardest step for humans, at least for me. <laughs> But believe me, this is very crucial. We always want to be in control, make sure everything is going well, and are afraid of uncertainty. Life has reminded me and told me tons of times for me to detach from the outcome in just stress. I never really understood what is the true meaning behind surrender I'm not having expectations before. I used to think, isn't it sound so desperate when you don't have any expectations in life? I used to think not having expectation is equal to being a pessimist. Let me tell you another story. One month ago, I went back to my university. And because I'm a final year student, I had exams back to back. 
One of the exams was TOEFL. As you can tell, I really love English and language learning since I was a kid. It made me extremely obsessed to achieve the perfect grade. I knew I can't get a good grade because I already use it now in my daily life, but my ego insisted. I don't want a high grade, I want the perfect grade. I treated and viewed it as if TOEFL was the most important exam of all exams that I had. Even the other exams were as important as TOEFL, but it was my ego. You know, I set my lost screen to it, I visualized, I studied day and night, I did everything I can, and I worked so hard basically. That's how obsessed and ambitious I am towards my goal. And when it was the day, oh my god, weird things started to happen. Like there were so many disruptions, literally chaos anywhere that made me couldn't focus because you really need to focus to answer those questions. And I completely messed up, messed up, completely. No, the coincidence at all, I exactly knew it was the universe trying to tell me and teach me tons of times for me to trust and surrender but i was so stubborn and for another exam wow wow the moment i didn't expect anything the moment i just trust and know it will work out it did work out extremely well. I got what was beyond my expectation and I ended up getting the highest score there. Now when I look back, I realized what messed me up was my distrust, attachment, and desperate energy. I was filled with anxiety and negative thoughts and they manifested in my life. And I learned that you can have no expectations of anything and still be optimistic in life. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up. Surrendering is about detaching yourself from the outcome, do what you can do, and just trusting in your genie that he will fulfill your wish. When you try to control the outcome, your genie cannot really do anything for you because you don't allow it and you don't trust him so it cannot happen your genie waits for you to trust and surrender then practice gratitude give thanks before you receive it your genie will be so happy when you consistently show appreciation to him and he wants to give you more and more as a result. Learn to notice the things that you already have instead of the things that you don't have. It is so weird, but the moment I don't really want anything and just feel deeply grateful for my life, it is also the moment when I started to get anything I want in life. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.